What's good YouTube fam? Back with another round of guess what? One Piece. This time is from Tournament 2 Round 2. Myself on the right versus Alan with Zephyr. This was a uh, pretty quick match. It was um, interesting to see, but we will get into it. So as normal with Eustace, I'm trying to get card advantage. So I can get those counters in hand till I can hit the 8-drop kid or other big threats and kind of keep pressure on Alan. And with him, he tends to, uh, you know, get out that 10-drop Kuzon and then stuff tends not to go so well. So this time I decided to try and be a little more aggressive off the start. So I used Momo's effect, then put two down on Eustace and swung for seven, which he took. But as you can see from his hand, he has all kinds of goodies. So he throws out a Borsalino and passes. So it seems to be five downs, kind of a magic number with Eustace because it opens up a lot more plays. Um, but I was saying this time I was trying to be a little more aggressive. Um, so I'm trying to go for his card. So I threw out an Izu to rest his Borsalino. And then swinging a 7 at his Borsalino, which then all it takes is a 2k counter. But I'm trying to whittle his hand away and keep his board kind of clear, which is about what he's trying to do to me. Um, he has the advantage of some of those purple and black card combos, though, that really clear off. So as you can see, he has a Sakazuki in hand. He has the... Um, Shockwave, which is you know great counter, and so we'll see what he does here. So it looks like he's just gonna swing six at lead, and as I always say with Eustace, I always uh, take those early life right there. I was able to get the trigger off of Pump Gibson to rest the Borsalino, and here he's just gonna chuck out a Kobe, which pops the Izo that way, it removes another attacker off my board because. He knows I'm going to be swinging at that Borsalino now that it's rested. So we're up to 7 Dawn here. And I don't even remember most of this match. This was, oh, three weeks ago or so. Well, we'll see what I do here. Maybe seven or so cards in hand. So we're throwing out a Yamato to rest the Kobe. And swinging eight at something. I'm guessing the Borsalino just because that'd be the bigger threat. And so he does shockwave, counter that. I believe it is 4,000, so that would bring his guy up to 10. Uh, I put up the Yamato, probably just to have a threat on board, um, but unfortunately with black, he is able to clear cards so quickly. And as we know, he has like Sakazuki in hand, which he has enough Don. That's an easy pop for the Yamato. So right here, I remember thinking how I'm starting to kind of fall behind because he's had so many cards to kind of pop my characters or keep my board clear which really tends to hurt green so i remember thinking that i just need to uh, you know try and keep being aggressive get some threats on the board and try and kind of clear some of his stuff so it looks like he is at eight dawn and it looks like he's gonna attack with kobe Let's see what he does so I'm also thinking though that next turn at 10 Dawn, the magical number, he can have 10 drop Kuzan, which is always scary. So it looks like he's going 5 at life, which I take. And then it looks like 6 with Kobe at face, which I take as well. And then there's the Sakazuki to pop the Yamato. 
which is when I had that kind of oh shoot moment because there went one of my attackers this next turn. So it looks like I am up to nine Don now, which makes eight drop kit available, seven drop or Odin. You know, there's a couple possibilities here. So we'll see what I throw out. Looks like I'm gonna swing five of the Kobe. Just get one of his threats off board. And then there's the eight drop kid. Say nine's that magic number because you still have one Don available for his effect. So we will use his other effect to rest and throw out a character three or less. So we got a Capone, which here we go. Ten drop Kuzan blows Capone off the board. And now the eight drop Eustace is easy pickings for anything and so right there he uses Zephyr's effect because Kuzan's static effect is minusing it so he's able to blow up my kid with the 10 drop using Zephyr's effect and so I countered out of the uh, one attack and then took the other one with the Sakazuki and at this point I'm kind of thinking it's pretty much over uh, you know wasn't able to clear that Borsalino with the 10 drop now he can keep using his leader effect I believe I had another 8 drop in hand and I think another like a 7 drop or an Odin. They're all big characters, but unfortunately, you know, with that 10 drop and his leader ability, he's able just to, you know, take them all out. So I was kind of like scooping at this point essentially, um, but, you know, figured we'll, we'll play it out and see. So I did throw out the other 8 drop kid, even though, you know, it is super easy to get off the field. And then I put out a Rhizo, just, you know, try and see if I get a thread and board. You know, I have decent hand size with one life. I know I can counter out of a couple attacks as well as, um, you know, eat that life. But unfortunately, the seven drop king here just ruins all of that with Kuzan's effect, making uh, the eight drop kid down to three and Rhizo at zero. He's able to one, two, swing, pop them both. And so say this is kind of just nail in the coffin at this point. Um, you know, he's still got his blocker, 10 drop, seven, two seven drops attack with. So even though I can counter out of some, it's pretty much over here. So I figure I'll counter the uh, smaller attacks at first because either way, 10's coming at my face. So I counter out of those. And then with the 10 drop coming, I know I'm just gonna have to take that. So with my last turn at three life, you know, there's just no way that I'm going to get it done here, even with leader effect. And I think he's tapping on the board right there as far as the seven drop king with the 10 drop, because I remember being like, that is such a, a broken combo. So it was pretty much over here. I think I was kind of out of counters. So we'll see what I do. But yeah, he unfortunately, that 10 drop, can't get rid of it it makes it tough because even uh, you know first thought about putting all my dawn on my leader and swinging a 10 drop but it, it wouldn't matter because at this point the swing back would just be too much so it's pretty much game at this point but I try not to scoop just for for giggles but this one was essentially over so that looks like Five Dawn, putting on leader. Let's see what happens here. Cause I know there's not much, uh, not much I can do in this situation. So I say we're just piling all the Dawn for giggles, swinging at the 10 drop, which, yay, we got the 10 drop, but <laughs> uh, it's kind of over at this point. So we'll see what he does here to probably finish it off. Because I have, looks like four cards in hand, but I am thinking at this point he has about eight Dawn, so doesn't matter really what I do, He's uh, he's got game here. So he 
could pretty much just pile the dawn onto his characters and swing and it's over. And seven gets it done here because only a 1k counter. GG's Allen. It was a good quick game.